about 70,000 litres. And yes, those are real people flying under real helium balloons. But if you just want to know the answer to how much helium you need to lift a person, while an average adult weighs about 70 kilos, in normal conditions, one litre of helium will provide enough lift for about one gram. So you'd need about 70,000 litres. Proving that and finding out how this is done safely and how you can also have a go, that's the rest of this video. I've wanted to do something like this for years. Of course I have. I think lots of people have dreamt of flying away on balloons, but as far as I knew, the logistics and safety required made it impossible unless you had a ridiculous budget. And then someone told me about Aeroplume in France and the budget dropped to 60 euro for a ticket. So the rest of this video isn't going to be scripted. It's just me, one of the team here holding my camera and about 70,000 liters of helium that's going to lift me up. This hangar was built in 1919. It was used first for the blimp here to survey and fly over the coast to detect the enemy submarines. And in 2000, it goes out of the military domain be careful to your head. Oh, yeah, that is, yeah, that's, that's, that's solid. Okay. Yeah. The history of the aeroplume starts maybe more than 20 years ago. That's a blimp who was created by a, a man who is called Jean-Pierre David, a French artist. That was much easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> he discovered the world of the blimp and felt in love. And so because he's an inventor and an artist and engineer, he decided to create his own blimp uh, big enough to allow him to fly by beating the wings. Since 2009, we propose uh, people to fly here. The other location is a cave, 50 meters under the ground. We propose the flight here during uh, all the French school holidays. So if we just let you go now, Whoa. you will go on the top <laughs> and you won't be able to go down ever, say? Right. So if I want you to be free and autonomous, I have to make you reach the static balance. Okay. That's why, depending on your weight, yep. I can add some little weight like this. Got it. To your blimp in order to make you float. If you just take off this, this oh. one, what, what is happening? You're just floating, yeah? Just floating? We have three aeroplumes here and they are different by their volumes. We have a bigger one that can carry up to 90 kilograms. We have one that can carry up to 70 kilograms and one that can carry up to 45. Now you can take the wings by the black handle. Everything you will do, you will do it really slowly. Yep. That's the same as if you were swimming. Okay. So first I will show you how to move forward. Okay. You want the wings to be flat like this. Yeah. In order to go, take some air and push behind. Like same. paddling a kayak. Yeah, exactly the same as in a kayak. And if I want to turn, it's with one. Exactly. So you know how to turn. If you are doing only one wings, you will turn. Doesn't react so quickly. Yeah. But when it's turning, now you can take a break. It will continue during a very long time. There is a lot of inertia, yeah? Yeah. I didn't feel like I was turning at all and then suddenly I was. Yeah. And we can also go back if you want to by pushing the air on the front and go flat again <laughs> to go up the same as if you were swimming again. Yeah. When you go forward, the air is going under the wings. And that provides and lift. Now you have to switch yeah. to make the same angle when you oh. go back. And this is every time like this, <laughs> from the front to the back, you can feel it. The air is going <laughs> under the wings. If you want to go and down, it will be the opposite movement. That feels so natural. Yeah, the opposite way of going up. At the beginning of the season, we just choose to fill the blimp with 100% helium. Eh? And with the time, the helium is going out. There is some leaks. So we can just add some more helium to compensate. And the really one problem here is the osmosis. So there is the air present outside that wants to go in the aeroplume. And once he's in, we can't extract him. So the more we spend the time here, the more air is inside, so the less he can carry. Once a year, we have the obligation to just empty everything and refill again. Of course, we are uh, conscious of the helium because it's very expensive and we don't want to waste helium. Yes. When you don't do nothing, once you, you get high, yeah. the balloon starts to descend again. is going down. Yeah. yeah. That's because, and maybe we will repeat that after, but we made you reach the static balance yeah. and it depends on the temperature. Oh. And the more higher oh. you go, 
I'm, I'm definitely, definitely going up quite quickly now. That's why I just take off one kilogram. The higher you are, the hotter it is. Now you reach a new situation of static balance with the new condition of temperature. Because of the slow speed of the balloon and the inertia, we have to pilot really slowly. And that's why we are indoor, to be protected against the wind and all the variation of the weather conditions. I noticed you had a sign on the door saying, make sure that the door is closed, because the slightest breeze would blow me completely off course. There is no problem of safety, because we're following you on the ground, always linked by a little tether. But the tether is slack. You're not holding me down here, I'm just floating. No, you are totally free. If you're slow and quiet enough, you will realize how to pilot and have the time to anticipate so the tether is not used. Take some break and observe that it's still turning left. Yeah, you can rest also. Wow. If it's too late to avoid the wall or the roof, it will pull, not for your safety, but for the safety of the blimp. Otherwise, if we just touch so many times, it, it will break. That's not a pressurized balloon. That's just an envelope filled with helium. So the helium will just go out slowly. It will lose its capacity to carry, so the pilot will land slowly. I'm amazed how calm and safe I feel right now. It's happened one time here. Some elements from the roof just go through the envelope and the pilot didn't notice that. It was just trying to go up and Oh, it's difficult because the helium was going out, so he, he landed. All right, permission to land? Yeah. More than 10,000 flights here in the aeroplume and zero accident. Oh, you know what? I mean, it's not a spot on landing, but I'll take it. If you can catch the table. I'm going to try. Perfect. There we go. Catch it. Got it. Perfect. So I will just take the time to link to the blimp and I yep. will help you to go out. It was a really good flight. <laughs> I'm half expecting to take the table up with me here. No, she's attached to the ground. <laughs> you All can. right. Yeah, you can if you want to. <laughs> Antoine, thank you so, so much. It was great. That was incredible. Thank you. <laughs>